why is this so hard? I need gas. And you see, have you guys seen the video of the lady who like goes around and around the gas pump and can't get her car on the right side of it? It's like that. I'm like that lady right now. I just went all the way like around the block so that I could pull into the gas station again. Ugh, look how far away I am. A couple of pranksters, Nikki and John, and then little Iris came along. With a mini zoo of adorable pets, you bet you get the best of Nikki and John's life. Gotcha. So I had to get in the car and, and pull the car closer to the pump. Do you see, John? Do you see the trials that I go through when you don't go with me places in the morning? He always says, you should be able to do things that a normal human being can do. Well, I wish I could. I really wish that I could, but I can't. Okay, anyway, Iris has another audition today, so I have to head to Santa Monica. Iris, you look so cute. You look so cute. Are you a happy girl? Woo! Okay, we're here and about to go up to the casting, and I have to say that I really appreciate a casting place that has a parking lot, because I hate street parking. I think you guys are getting a sense that I'm not the best driver. Honey, I'm home. Hello. Hi, doesn't it? Really, dogs? Really? For like really? Five minutes. Yep. <laughs> I've been hey. here for a while. Good job, guys. Well, I'm doing dishes and a lot. A couple green. minutes. Mwah. So, how did it go? It was good. It was really quick. They were pumping people in and out, yeah, so I wasn't really sure. Uh, it wasn't too many, actually. Not too many there at once. Um, everyone was saying how cute Iris was in there. So like I said, it was quick, but when we were leaving, the casting director said, nailed it, just like that. So, <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I, it's still up in the air, because it was quick, but he said, nailed it. So apparently, we're not gonna have any more kids. What? John wants to get rid of all this baby stuff. I want to get He's... rid of that stuff for a different reason because we can't store it. It's too big. We can store it. No, and if we're not going to have a baby for like five years, then we probably don't need to keep it for that long. We have spaces in the white cupboards in there. That's not true. That's all dedicated closet space. We still have space. No. I'm just... When I was registering for some of that stuff, I was thinking specifically to get it in gender neutral colors so that if we did have another kid, a girl or a boy, the, the next kid could use it. I picked that stuff out specifically for that. And here's John trying You're to give it away to people. You're the one doesn't want to have another baby. Uh, what do you- Oh, I have uh, enough cuteness in my life. I don't need another one. That's not what I said. I, I'm scared to have another baby right now, but I don't want to rule out the possibility. I'd love to have two of these things. I'd be like, Phew, double baby. So you want to get rid of the baby stuff, but you want to have more babies? Yeah. John says we can just like buy more stuff if we have to. I think we should save it so that we buy more save money. If we need it. If we don't, then we don't have to buy it. That should be a nursery rhyme for babies. What? So we're at Descanso Gardens. We're going to take a little family walk. Iris is in her fun stroller. This yep. is the fun one. I think she likes this one a lot more than the other one. She likes to be able to look. Mm -hmm. She just was like, yeah. Yep. Sometimes I feel like my brain is too big for my head. Um, I don't have that problem. You don't ever feel like a bunch of pressure? Nope. And Although like my I ears are popped? Small head, I'm pretty sure my brain is. Like the fountain? I think she does. Oh, I love her. You know what's so crazy? What? I can't believe she's gonna be a year old in two months. Yeah, that's that coming. Has just flown by. Right around the corner. So crazy. It feels like I just had her. Yeah. How how is this? How does this happen? That you know, parents always say it goes by I... fast, but 
This feels like really fast. It feels like I just like blinked and she's a year old and I'm gonna be done breastfeeding. And, and you're gonna be eating Slim Jims and drinking soda pop. What? They grow up fast. You know what'd be really weird? Huh? Is if uh, I breastfed her for a year after you did. <laughs> that was like human nature. It's like the man, like she needed to breastfeed from the man for the second year. That is crazy. Yeah. Are you a little jealous that you didn't get to breastfeed? I did breastfeed. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. And I was a small child. I breastfed from my mother. Oh, <laughs> you didn't breastfeed her when I wasn't looking? No. One time <laughs> she went for my nipple, I was like, ah! <laughs> Wrong nipple. Be careful. <laughs> kind of like coming here because I get inspired to do more yard work. This place is oh so pretty. Oh my god, you really, look at look at it. it's you just picked up the perfect. To say that. Oh, yeah. oh my god, you're good. <laughs> look, that's like what I want to do with my vines. Hang them up on the fence, and I want to trim the trees. Can I just, you guys? By the way, we have a gardener that comes with renting our house. He does the grass. <laughs> And every single day, John's out there like, oh, I gotta find some new I take his advice on how to like trim trees and stuff. It saves a lot of money oh. every month, Nikki. Oh, definitely. I do like five Never. to six hundred dollars worth of yard work every month. Okay, Hank I do. Hill. John hey, Hank Hill. Let's I call, you know what? Let's call John John Hill. You know what? King of the Hill. I think John. you learn to appreciate that show just a little bit more when all you want to do is stand around, drink a beer with your buddies, do some yard work, and be the king of the hill. I feel, yeah, I feel like I relate to that show more now. Peggy, yeah, having I, a baby. Well, I do have big feet. Peggy has really big feet. Remember, there's like an episode where she's like... What if that was the only the reason I dated you is because you had really big, uh, nice yeah. feet? <laughs> no, I'm not, not as big a feet as Peggy in the show. You guys remember that episode? Just means you have a more sturdier base and better balance. I am proportionate. I yeah. am proportionate though. You certainly it's are. It's like I have long legs, so I need big feet to like hold up my long legs. That's one of the reasons why I was attracted to Nikki in the beginning. Okay. Those legs. Oh, I thought you were gonna say those big feet. <laughs> Reminds me of us in bird form. The doves over there. Oh, love doves, dove loves, love birds. Hi. I am a human being. We could be friends if you wanted. I don't think they want to be friends. They're booking it. Well, I think we had a fun day at Descanso Gardens. It was really fun. Yeah. And I found some yummy chocolate on I the ground. I can't wait to eat some. It's delicious. Uh, I'm just kidding. I got it at the gift shop. <laughs> think, look at this. If they had like, someone like me working here, I'd trim this tree so it didn't hit people's cars like it's hitting mine. Ah, so I got out of the car and opened up the back hatch to get the stroller out. And I was totally thinking like, hmm, where's the elevator? How are we gonna get the stroller out of this parking garage? But we don't have a baby with us. We have a babysitter so we can go see Jurassic World. We're gonna see a movie. We're gonna see Jurassic World. We haven't seen a I movie since. I guess classifies as a movie, but we're just like, this is crazy. It doesn't this happen very often. classifies as a movie? Yeah. What did you say? That's what I said. Why wouldn't it classify But anyways, as a movie? we haven't been to a movie in forever. And we wanted to see the movie the so Hobbit. bad. Hobbit. Yeah, The Hobbit. It was fun. Hobbit. But now we're going to Jurassic World! AMC Burbank! Look, here's the poster. Poster! We heard Jurassic World is really good. Have any of you guys seen Jurassic World? We watched Jurassic Park or Jurassic Park 3. Oops. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> no, I was trying to go like this at minus number 2. Because <laughs> we didn't watch number 2. Well, let us know what you thought about Jurassic World in the comments. <laughs> I want Twix and Oreos and a water and an icy and a popcorn and a nachos and a hot dog and the cheese sauce and a Twizzlers and a Crunch Bunch and a Milk Duds. <laughs> Creepy alleyway. This is, like this is where the T-Rex attacks. 
No, um, that was a good movie, I thought so. Yeah, I liked it. It yeah. was just like, it was way more action-packed than like the original <laughs> It was like over the top. Yeah. But it was good. You like, it's funny because a lot of the dinosaurs like Dinos teamed up with Dinos the humans. And everyone is fighting, all right? Get away from me, you dinosaur. <laughs> the whole time. Meow, Aphrodite, are you our Tyrannosaurus Velociraptor Rex? Or is it you? See you? Okay. So Nikki and I had so much fun going out to a movie and like we said, we hadn't seen a movie since The Hobbit. Five Army Six, whatever it was. So it was really, really exciting to go see Jurassic World even though it was like super, it's been out for like a long time, but it was awesome. Before you know it, it'll be out on DVD and we'll be watching it again. Uh, but it's also just kind of nice to have a babysitter every once in a while and someone that we can trust and depend on to take care of Iris while we get to have a little mommy and daddy time. So thanks for watching this vlog, guys. We really, really appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends on all your social media websites, and we will see you next time.